I'm starting off this look by sponging this Fantasy FX face paint all over one side of my face. And the reason you only want to do it on one side is because you're going to leave this side blank, so it's like your normal skin, and then this side is going to be the kind of reptile makeup. So it's almost as if you're like a hybrid between human and reptile. And then just taking this pro colour ring, I'm just going to take some of the darker green colour and I'm going to put this in the kind of hollows of my cheekbones. And then adding a tiny bit of brown and then just going to add some of the yellow around my eyes. And I'm just kind of adding the kind of yellow and green mixed together in random sections of my face just to give it a bit more dimension. And then just taking that brown and kind of bringing it down my brow. And then just taking some of this black eyeshadow on a small pointed brush and I'm just going to try and add this to my eye to kind of make it a bit look a bit more elongated in the inner corners and kind of extend it outwards as well. Next I'm taking some of this Fantasy FX face paint in the shade Silver and this is where the fun bit begins. This is actually a bit of material from a packet of oranges. It's just this kind of gridded, stretchy material which is amazing for creating scales. So what you want to do with this is place it on your face, dip a brush into the silver paint and then you just want to dab this over the top where you want the scales to be. And once you peel it away, you have this really cool kind of scaled look. So I'm just going to repeat this in different places of my face. So I'm then just going back in with my bruise kit and I'm taking the green and yellow again. And I'm just going to fill in my lips. And then taking some black face paint and I'm just going to use this to draw the kind of transitional line down the middle of my face. You then just want to take the black eyeshadow and kind of shade around the edges of the black face paint. Then you want to just blend it inwards. Just so that it gives it a bit more depth. And then taking this black eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to use this to define my eyes a little bit more. And then just using the yellow to kind of highlight the top of that bump. I really want to use some of these lizard style contact lenses but I have really bad eyesight and I already wear contact lenses so unfortunately I can't wear these but how cool would these look? But I'm going to try and include a picture of what these would look like with this makeup. So for the final stage I'm just going to do the rest of my face with my normal makeup and then I'm going to come back and show you what I look like as I kind of half reptile human being. For the final touch, I'm just using a bit of white face paint and I'm gonna add a fang on this side of my mouth. So now that you've done your tooth, your snake makeup is complete. 